All right. Good morning. My name is Erin. If you're just new to practicing with us, I welcome you to this incredibly warm community of yogis. Maybe you'll see some familiar faces on here. I want to thank the Energy Club for your sponsorship, and I want to thank you for joining us today. Um, it is the 6th of July, so maybe you're starting to feel the remnants of a weekend well spent, and rather than uh, feeling like you need to repent for, you know, indulging a little too much, just enjoy the, the you know, the sort of the, the residue of the celebration. Um, maybe you still hear firecrackers in your head. Maybe you're still thinking about the idea of freedom. Maybe you're just cleaning up from um, a celebration, a safely distanced celebration outside or whatever it is. Just let the memories linger as you think about the good time you had. And um, our, our practice today is completely dedicated to, to joy and um, playfulness because <clears throat> sometimes I think, and I'm guilty of this, we take these practices way too seriously. And I want to continue to ride on the coattails of a fun celebration weekend and just bring joy and playfulness to our mat. We did it a little bit on Friday when we were firecrackers, um, but we're going to continue today because it doesn't have to stop when the calendar changes, right? We can continue to feel the sense of celebration, the joie de vivre, as they say, because when you were born, the very essence of you was joyful and curious and playful and trusting and loving. And we know that innately, those are the qualities that make us who we are, but we just allow the layers of adulting and the stressors of life to, to sort of start to compound and build a callus between us and that true sense of playfulness and joy. And I just want to peel away those layers, get out of our thinking mind a little bit today and just have some fun. Don't try to analyze anything that I'm cueing you to do. Just reach for it, grab for it. Just try it, giggle, laugh, have some fun, get creative, get really curious and uh, we'll see how you feel at the end of the practice, all right? So it's just, it's an invitation to just let whatever, you know, heaviness is still weighing on you to, to feel a little bit lighter today so you can approach things um, with a different perspective, all right? We're gonna start on our backs. Come on down to your back and we're gonna start in a laughing happy baby because this is how you started, right? This is bringing you back to your infancy when you just laid in your crib and you looked around and everything was fresh and new. And in that beginner's mind, there is a world, a kaleidoscope, they say, of possibilities. But when our mind is full as we grow up, we fill it, we fill it, we fill it. Thought, memory, expectations, judgments, you know, biases. That really clouds us. It takes us away from this sense of of openness and playfulness. So just come on back to when you were a baby, a little baby. If you can, I don't know, you probably can't, you don't want to suck on your toes, but we used to suck on our toes. I mean, we did all kinds of crazy stuff, right? But it was so cute. We wanted to know what they tasted like. Oh, there's a toe. Just roll around a little bit, maybe giggle a little bit. Maybe you Think of something funny, or maybe you think of something completely ordinary, but you just bring a sense of laughter. Because <laughs> your brain doesn't know the difference between forced laughter and real laughter. It is stimulating those happy hormones in the body, and it floods you for just a moment of, of peace and joy. <laughs> Remember, laughter is contagious, so if you're practicing with someone, just get silly, get goofy, get giggly. As you roll around on the back and start to move a little bit into the hips. And then bring the feet together and let the edges of the feet come down to the earth. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Without getting too serious, just take a moment to reflect on what motivated you to arrive on your mat today. There's always a reason. Maybe your body's feeling stiff and you're hoping for a good stretch. Maybe your mind's been full and you're hoping for a little bit of calmness. 
settling of the thoughts, holding space for whatever's there. Just take a moment to connect with that intention. And then let's start to notice breath. Take a breath in, feeling the palm under the, on top of the belly fill up. Feel the palm on top of the heart fill up. And then when you can fill it no longer, let it go. Feeling everything retract back down toward the earth. And do it again and again and again. And the cool thing about laughter, if you do start to want to break out at any point during this practice in spontaneous laughter, laughter is respiration. So it's your body naturally inviting in a deep, forceful inhale and exhale, which is very cleansing. Two more big breaths. One more big breath. Nice. We're going to bring our knees to the chest. And cross your right leg over the left. So the knees are crossed. And see if you can fan the ankles out a little bit. Maybe taking a bind on the feet. And just roll around a little bit. Really big stretch for the hips. Breathe into anything that feels tight. Laugh into anything that feels tight. <laughs> you might just hear me start to spontaneously laugh, hoping that'll spur you into some giggles. All right, we're gonna keep that bind and we're gonna start to roll along the length of our spine until we come to a seated position. Just have some fun with it. You're gonna warm up the core quite a bit. So just roll, get some momentum if you need to and roll all the way up to a seated position, keeping that right foot crossed over the left. You, can, you don't have to stack the knees, you can lift the right knee up. We're gonna take a little spinal twist here. So take a big breath in, left arm to the sky, and as you exhale, twist over to the right. So you can hug the right knee in, you can take the elbow outside of the knee, keep trying to draw the belly in toward the spine, sit up nice and tall on the inhale, twist a little deeper on the exhale, One more big breath in, full breath out. Nice, we're gonna come back into center. Take those hands on the ankles and roll on back to your back. There we go. Just move from side to side a little bit more, getting the maximum benefit of this hip stretch. And then keep crossing the right over the left, like you're weaving the legs together like an eagle bind. Arms open, we're gonna let the knees drift off to the right side. You can use that right hand to press the knees down if you want. A little snap, crackle, pop maybe in the spine. Take another breath. And then let those knees drift off to the left side, feeling how it feels to be twist to the other side. Just a different take on that spinal twist. Twisting out all the seriousness today. Yoga with a twist. Big breath in, full breath out. Nice, we're gonna come back into center, unwind the legs and just kick them wildly and crazily up to the sky. Maybe you open them up and you close them. Like you're having a tantrum. Rah! And then we're gonna come to cross the other way. So cross the left over the right, crossing at the knees, but fanning out the ankles. Bind where you can. Just let the body roll a little bit from side to side. I wore my Namaste six feet away shirt today as a reminder that even in the most serious of situations, a global pandemic, we can have a little fun safely. We can have a little fun. We can bring a little bit of joy, a little bit of laughter, a little smile. Smiles are contagious. 
And they say laughter is the shortest distance between two people. So even if you can't get close to someone, and even if you have a mask on, you can hear laughter. You can see it in their eyes. It brings you a little bit of proximity in this time of distance. All right, bring the back flat. Start to rock and roll. You got this along the length of the spine. Use that core. Warm it up. Come all the way up to seated with the left crossed over the right. Sit up nice and tall. Right arm to the sky and twist to your left. Hugging the knee into the midline, sitting up nice and tall. Lifting through the crown of the head. Each breath carves out a little bit more space in your twist. One more breath. Come on back to center. Hands on the ankles. You know we're going to roll back onto our backs. Whoop. And then we're going to just release the bind and bring that knee just a little, to wrap a little bit more around, just winding the legs up as much as you can. And then let the knees drift off to the left side. Maybe the left hand draws them down. Keeping the shoulders rooted, just feel the opening in the hips, twisting in the lower spine. And on the next breath, bring the knees back up through center, drift over to the right, take that twist, breathe into it. And release back to center. Uncross the legs. One more chance. Just maybe you get the arms in there too. Just wildly kicking the limbs up to the sky. Just having some fun, being playful. Maybe you go a little bit to the right and you go a little bit to the left. Maybe someone in your family walks by and they're like, what is that? <laughs> Yoga? Oh, no, thank you. All right, from here, we're going to just rock and roll back up to a seated position. Come into any kind of sukhasana you want. Sit up nice and tall, hands to the knees, and start to make really big circles into the body. Exploring your full range here. Feeling it deep into the hips. Start to get the shoulders involved. And then go the other direction. I don't know if I have a different glow about me this morning, but finally watched Hamilton, everybody. I know that's like the hip thing to do right now. Certainly was a lot more intellectually satisfying than Tiger King <laughs> at the beginning of this mess. We're going to come onto our hands and knees. I'm not a huge history buff, even though I'm in a family of history buffs. Somehow it escaped me, but um, I've loved it. So if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. If you don't have Disney uh, Plus, I'll give you my password. All right. Your table positions, shoulders stacked over wrists, hips over knees, start to flow in your cat-cow and don't feel confined by any sort of tradition here in the body. If you want to move to the right and move to the left and make big circles with the body, just feel free, explore, create shapes that work for you. You can take about six big breaths. So again, get playful, get curious. Don't try to think too much though. Just have some fun. Maybe something will make you giggle. Two more breaths. And then begin to grow into your downward facing dog. Lifting those hips up to the sky, melting the heels to the earth. Move a little bit. No need to be still right here as you get situated. Move and shake and wobble and wiggle and 
band. Maybe you ripple forward a little bit, coming into a high plank, just to measure out the relative distance, hands to feet, back to downward facing dog. Nice. And then from down dog, start to walk the feet up to the hands, finding a forward fold. Take opposite elbows, bounce a little bit in your rag doll. Shake the head. Wake up those hammies. And then release the arms. We're gonna rise all the way to standing. Bring that left hand down by your side. Reach the right arm up and over, looking for a crescent shape. How much space can you open up in the right side body? One more big breath. And then come up through center, crescent over to the left. One more breath. Back up to center and fold halfway lift to a flat back plant your hands step one foot then the other finding your high plank release the knees down elbows bend chaturanga come down to the earth inhale press up baby cobra soften the elbows nope soften the shoulders <laughs> and the elbows if you want exhale lower back down inhale press up just a little bit more and lower down, keep those thighs nice and firm, tops of the feet rooted to the earth. One more time, maybe the arms begin to straighten here, maybe, maybe baby. Come on back down, and then we're gonna float into a child's pose. Rounding through the spine, rooting, through the, rooting to the earth through the palms and the forehead, feeling the shins connected, just knowing that any point today when we get a little bit out of your comfort zone with silliness or playfulness. It's okay to, to come back and reset here. Maybe the body needs a break. Maybe the mind needs to find some grounding. And when you come here, just be aware of what you feel, what you sense in the body through the breath, where you feel supported by the earth. Take one more big breath here. And then we're gonna make our way back to downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> one more big breath, really feel the way it fills up your whole body. Let it go. On the next breath, right heel to the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step the right foot through, drop the left knee, untuck the toes, sweep up, low lunge. And as you exhale, rock the hips back, chest to thigh, coming into your half split. And we're gonna flow. So inhale, lunge, open up, reach the heart to the sky. And exhale, rock those hips back, chest to thighs. Two more, slowly or whatever breath pace you've got this morning. Hopefully you're not hyperventilating. One more breath. From here, bring the hands down to the earth. Peel that right arm up. Maybe bend the left knee and take a bind here. Maybe, maybe you're laughing. Maybe you laugh when I offer these, <laughs> these modifications or these amplifications. If it makes you laugh, laugh. Let the laughter fill up your room, your space. One more big breath. If you have the bind, let it go. We're gonna reach that right arm back. So just sink a little bit deeper here as the right knee flares open. Maybe you're on the edge of the right foot, just feeling a different stretch into the hip. If your left um, wrist is like, no thank you, come on down to your forearm. Just get a really deep stretch there to the hips. One more breath. And then bring those hands back to the front. Find that low lunge once again. And we're going to step the right foot back. 
high plank to low plank, maybe no plank. You know, you always have the choice. Float up, maybe the thighs lift for your upward facing dog, back to downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. You know the deal. Let each breath be really fulfilling for you. On the inhale, left heel to the sky. Step the left foot through, drop the right knee, untuck the toes, sweep up. Making sure that knee is safely stacked over the ankle. And as you exhale, rock the hips back, bend down at the hips. Inhale. Exhale, half split. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, really sweep up. And then as the hands float down, keep that right palm rooted, left arm rises, take your twist. You could also add the bind. Someone's out there like, too early, Aaron, too early for the bind. You never know, right? Just let the practice be filled with possibilities. One more breath. If you have the bind, let it go. We're gonna go a little bit deeper here as we point. Just point something at the room and start laughing at it. <laughs> There's a dust bunny over there. Let's get silly, get goofy. Release the heaviness, right? We don't have to catastrophize everything. We can laugh at everything. Brings a whole different sense of being. I see tomatoes on the vine. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, one more breath. Then bring those hands around. Step back to high plank, lower down chaturanga. So if you're not familiar, open your heart. If you're not familiar, there's a whole field of yoga called laughter yoga. And you can read all about it. You can practice it online. It's a really great way to just flood the body with dopamine. It's bringing happiness, bringing a sense of levity, lightness, joy, reconnecting to your innate way of being. Big breath in, full breath out. On the inhale, look to the front of the mat. Step or hop your feet to the hands. We're gonna sweep up chair pose. What? Chair pose? <laughs> and maybe you get your funky chair on and move your booty around a little bit. Just have some fun. Maybe you've got music on and you just wanna dance a little bit. Or maybe you're just right here, right? We're trying to break out of the rigidity and the automaticity and the seriousness of everything and just have some fun. Breathe in, keep sending those hips back toward the heels. <sighs> One more breath and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, back down. Halfway lift, flat back, and fold. We're going to sweep right back up into chair pose, and we're going to shift the weight into the right foot, lift the left foot, Whoop. and then step that left foot all the way back, come into a high crescent lunge. Breathe in. Sink a little deeper through the tailbone. One more breath. As you exhale, hands float to the heart. We're gonna reach and extend forward and then find a twist over to the right. So you're gonna hook that left elbow, draw the belly in toward the spine, make a little bit more space in the twist. Let the gaze float over the right shoulder and stay here or you can come back into a little hunched position, bringing the knee, whoo, I'm glad I have these things to catch me here. Do that or you can extend the left leg coming into a warrior three version. So what I'm trying to encourage you to do here is just challenge your balance a little bit, rattle yourself a little bit so you wake up, so you laugh, so you notice if your automatic reaction is, oh man, why can't you do that and replace that with, <laughs> look how silly I look right now. Right, just change it up. Take another breath. And then we're gonna release that foot back down, unwind back to high crescent lunge, and then open up into warrior two. 
yeah. We're gonna just dance a little bit. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale through extended side angle. Working those side body lines again. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Right here in extended side angle. You're going to bring the hands down to the earth. 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 I call it earth with an F. That's laughable. Come into it a wide-legged forward fold. So palms to the earth. Maybe the crown of the head starts reaching down to the earth as well. Maybe you want to heel toe the feet out a little bit, creating a wider stance, letting the, the top body hang. Take a breath in, let a breath go. As you inhale, we're going to come halfway and start to skandasana over to the left. <clears throat> so as you bend into that left knee, feeling the tailbone sink down toward the earth. All right. So one option is stay here. Another one is if you want to take a twist, you can reach the right arm to the sky, gazing at that arm, the hand, or you can take a bind, binding around the left knee. If you want to bind, then you can start thinking about doing a silly, funky bird of paradise. So with that bind, you're gonna to start to lift the hips back up to the sky and then step the right foot in toward the center. Now I'm super sweaty out here, so my leg is super slippery. So it's gonna slide right out from underneath me. So I'm gonna hold it in a different way. I'm gonna hold it like I'm holding a bag of potatoes and start to press into the right foot and lift your left leg up to the sky. Funky bird! <laughs> This isn't really how it's supposed to look, but I'm so slippery and slimy and sweaty. You can also hold your foot like this. That's another way to make it accessible. And I love it. Hop around, dance around, and laugh. Invite no shame into this. Just have fun. When else do you get to do this? All right? If you are trying to fly, then slowly release that left foot down. Step the right foot back out, finding your bound. Skandasana, and then release your binds, Woo. and we're going to walk, walk, walk over to frame the right foot, then step back into our high plank and travel through a flow, high to low, making your way back to downward facing dog, breathe in, let it all go, maybe, <laughs> Maybe exhale with a laugh. That's a really good way to cleanse out any stale oxygen in the body. <laughs> All right, look to the front of the mat. Step or hop, feet to hands. Coming into that Utkatasana again. Really feel it. Shake your Buddha. Dance a little bit while maintaining alignment. Uh-huh. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes. I love it, I love all the dancing going on. <laughs> all right, inhale, rise all the way up. Give those thighs a break, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, feel the spine lengthen. Back to a fold, Utkatasana, sweep back up. Shift the weight into the left foot, lift the right knee, lift the right foot. <laughs> and then step that right foot all the way back, high crescent. Very much inviting a sense of presence here. Feeling where the body is connected, feeling where the muscles connect to the bones, feeling the way the joints hold everything together. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands to the heart. Reach forward, finding length in the body, and twist to your left. Right? And sure, you can stay here in the twisted lunge. There's no obligation to do anything else. But you could play around. You could bring that knee in again. You could send it back. You can open the arms. You could take a bind. What? Just have some fun being playful, moving, 
seeing what's possible. Make sure you're breathing. Two more breaths. If the leg is lifted, bring it back. <laughs> We're gonna rise back up to high crescent and open up woo, warrior two. Feel the burn, feel the burn. All right, let's dance a little bit. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Two, float with breath. Last one, breathe. Find your extended side angle. Then bring that right hand down to the earth. Sweep it around. Forward fold. Taking any variations. Maybe the arms reach through. Hello. <laughs> Bow down. Maybe you're working on your headstand practice. Please be gentle. Please root in so that you're not compressing into the neck. Take one more breath. If you're not head standing, then you're folding, and then we're gonna rise halfway right here, and then start to stendasana over to the right side. Feel free to take any variation that you're working on right now. No limits, no boundaries. Maybe you take that twist, right arm in front of right shin, left arm up, or the left arm wraps around looking for that bind. Still slippery over here. If you're working on the bind and you want to play around with your funky, funky bird, funky, playful bird of paradise, then start to lift the hips a little bit, walk the left foot in, and start to rise. Again, I'm going to have to hoist my leg up with my hand because I'm a little sweaty. All right. So it looks something like this. Standing up tall, looking to stack shoulders over hips. Take another breath, smile. And then start to land with control. Coming back into your skandasana. Release any binds you have. If you're in a headstand, making your way down safely. Walk your hands over to frame your left foot. Step back, high plank. Lower chaturanga. Taking your flow. One of my favorite Thich Nhat Hanh quotes is, sometimes a smile is the reason, no, sometimes joy is the reason for the smile, right? When we're feeling joyful, we smile. But sometimes a smile is the reason for your joy. So sometimes we just have to fake it and force it, but it tricks the brain, which is a beautiful thing. And we start to become a little bit lighter, a little bit more easeful, a little bit more joyful because that's what lives within us. So even when you're not in the mood to smile, just trick your brain and turn those lips up. Exercise those muscles of the mouth. See what happens. Breath in and breath out. Alrighty, on the next inhale, look to the front of the mat. Step or hop feet to hands. We're gonna rise up, rise up. Bring hands to heart. We're going to lift the right knee up, pressing into the left foot. So coming into a nice stork pose, a little balance challenge, a little alignment challenge here. Just notice how it feels. Take a big breath in so if you can lift a little bit more, power up through that hip flexor. And then start to press the right foot back, coming into a warrior three. So the energy is long across the heel, the leg, the hip, the spine, the crown of the head. One more big breath. And then let the hands float down to the earth, standing split. Maybe you want to get challenging here or silly and goofy and just lift your hands from the earth. Woo! Look, mono hands. Or you bring your hands to support your ankle. Or you bring your hands behind the back, taking a little bind. 
Let the head hang heavy in this inversion. One more breath. Start to bend the knees, bringing the right knee behind the left knee. We're going to take the left hand on the right foot. You can take the ankle, the edge of the foot, the instep, wherever you want to be. And we're going to start to press up into a funky dancer pose. So really slowly peel the hands away from the earth, hand away from the earth, kicking the right foot in the left hand. Try to expand a little bit across the heart. If you have a wall, use it. <laughs> Don't be afraid to use it. Try to keep the hips square. This one's a challenging one. It's kind of fun though. Yes. One more breath. All right, so here's where we're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna start to bend the knees again, bringing right behind left, and see if you can let go of that bind and come all the way down to the earth with those knees crossing over one another. Mm-hmm. Pardon me while I wipe my brow. Um, this is your cow face legs. So you can have, just like we were on our backs, you can have the shins parallel to the front edge of the mat. Or if it's a little bit challenging for you, you can bring your heels closer to your hip. All right, lift that left arm to the sky, bend it, use the right hand to press into the elbow so the fingers find their way between the shoulder blades or grasp onto your shirt. Left arm, or I'm sorry, right arm will come up from underneath. Companionship, little bind. This is my no binding side, even though I'm trying, I'm trying, and I'm fine with where I land. I feel it in my shoulders. So lift the crown of the head, press the head back into the arm, sit up tall. So feel where you're rooted, and then start to lean a little bit forward. Try to keep the head lifted and proud. Try to keep the smile on your face. Let the breath go right where it needs to go. You feel it. You know. Take another breath. And come on. Sit up. Release and just let those arms be a little wild. <laughs> yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, so you know how this works. We're gonna get up, but we're not gonna use our hands. Simon says, hands on your head. Get yourselves up, however you wanna get up, just get up. You gotta stand up, get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. Mm -hmm. And once you get there, you might feel a little bit tight in that left hip. So let's do a little shaky. Woo. A little gallop, a little shake, a little little dancing, <laughs> a little smile, a little giggle, a little laughter, whatever. <laughs> All right. Whew. And then come back to grounding. Come back to center. Press down into your right foot. Lift your left knee up towards your chest. A little taller. A little higher. One more breath. And start to press that left foot back. Toes down, heel up. Feeling the energy rise from the heel through the crown. You can also take a bind here. Do something, anything you want to do. One more breath. And then float down, standing split. Maybe you're getting super wild. What, what, what am I dealing with here? Maybe you're getting super wild and you're working on kicking up into your handstand. I like to do it with a uh, wall behind me. Woo! Maybe. Just have some fun. Maybe you take a bind. Maybe you lift the hands. Maybe you just do something you haven't done before. Approaching this in a new way. One more breath. 
All right, let's get funky. Bring that left knee behind the right knee. Right hand to bind on the left foot. I'll give you a minute to let that soak in, you uh, twister masters. And slowly start to lift up for your reverse dancer pose, funky dancer. Okay, foot in hand, heart draws forward. You can stay soft in that right knee. There's a lot of work going on in that right leg. One more big breath. All right, and then start to bring the left knee behind the right knee. Woo! <laughs> that was a little faster than I expected. Start to lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Hydrate. For those of you outside, it's clammy out here today. Feels good though, it's a nice little detox for us. All right, coming into your calf face, getting those legs situated, feeling, feeling your arrival into your edge right in the hips. It feels so good. Brings us right to this moment because we feel it in the body. And then lift that right arm. Use the left hand to guide the fingers between the shoulder blades. Left arm comes up and underneath. And maybe on this side you can make the bind. But if you're not, just find something to attach to so those fingers aren't lonely. Sit up nice and tall. Find your posture. And then just think about hinging at the hips. Maybe you only go a centimeter. Maybe you go an inch. Maybe each breath inches you even deeper. Fully press yourself here. Take another breath. And then rise on up, release the bind. Get those little, that little arm groove going again. And then Simon says, hands on head. Simon says, get up, get up, stand up. Just try not to think, just do. Your body will figure it out. It's smart. Yay! <laughs> and then celebrate with your happy dance. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right, come back to the top of the mat. Let's get a few more flows in. Take a big breath in. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, nice long spine. Plant your hand. Maybe you're hopping back. Maybe you've never done it before and you're like, today's my day. Hop back, land with the elbows soft. Float your heart up. Arriving back in Downward Facing Dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Look to the front of the mat. We're gonna hop the feet on the outer edges of the pinky. So come into a Malasana squat and then just kind of groove your way on up. I feel like we should have had some music today. And then groove your way on down. And then lift the hips and then sink them back down. Let's do that one more. So groove your way on up. Just really feel it in the hips today. You need happiness in the hips. Groove your way on down. Palms to the earth, lift the hips, straighten the legs. And come on back down to your malasa. See if from malasana, you can either step back or take a little hop back, or if you wanna play with a crow pose, because crow pose makes 38% of the people happy. Palms to the earth, knees to your thigh or your triceps. Ooh, I'm gonna be slipping and sweating again. Round through the spine, look forward. It's not gonna work for me today. But anyway, I'll watch you have some fun. I'm having my own personal little sauna out here today. Yeah. Try not to overanalyze. Definitely don't bring any oh, I can't do this, don't want to do this, just be in it. Remember the kaleidoscope of possibilities when we free ourselves from that thinking. We're all eventually going to meet in a downward-facing dog. 
So you're free to get there however you want to get there. Breathe in. <sighs> Feel that beautiful exhalation clearing you out of any judgments. <sighs> Starting fresh, paving that path of potential. Put a smile on your face. <sighs> Let's lift that right heel to the sky. And then start to draw the right knee toward the right pigeon pose here. Always the option for your pinwheel pigeon if you want to bend the knee. So before you just jump right into your oh, surrendered resting half pigeon, let's stay out afloat. Let's, let's stay into a very alert seated pigeons for a minute. <laughs> because you may want to try something different here. You may want to try a little mermaid pose or merman for you, Jason, and any other dudes out there. So you want to try to get the shin parallel to the front edge of the mat. You want to try to get the hips squared. And one option is to bend that back knee again and take a bind, right? Just see how that feels. And then maybe, and I don't have my strap with me, so mine's very sloppy, but lift that right arm up and see if maybe you can bring the left toes into the crook of that left elbow. And just imagine my fingers are touching. Yay! <laughs> Coming into a full mermaid pose. Or a quarter of a mermaid as I'm modeling here. And it really opens up. If you have a strap and want to wrap it around your ankle, another way to do it is to do a full king pigeon and come overhead. Or maybe you have that flexibility in your spine and you can do it with your hands. Really opens up the heart. So we're kind of just redefining our pigeon, making it both a hip stretch and a back stretch, spine stretch. But if you've had enough of that and you want to come into your traditional resting half pigeon as you know it, then you can let those binds go and melt the heart down. One other thing that you can do here is take that left arm and weave it underneath the right, coming down onto your right or to your left shoulder. And that right arm wraps around looking for a bind on your big toe, your right big toe. So my point is, do something different. Play around. Get curious. We're here for three more breaths. Let go of any binds. Start to come back up to your seated pigeon if you have rested. Palms to the earth. We're gonna come into a three-legged table position. So your right leg is extended. We're gonna you know, move that leg a little bit, circle into the hips. And then we're gonna do something kind of funky here. So with that right leg extended and lifted, Left arm up to the sky, and then thread the needle. Weave the left under the right. Come on down. See if you can land softly with that right leg still lifted. And then maybe you bend the right knee, and maybe you take the right hand and bind on the right foot, the right ankle, wherever you can make it, kicking one into the other. And maybe you're rolling over and giggling. Go for it. Don't be afraid to fall on the mat or in life. It's nothing to fear. It's a learning opportunity. Take one more breath. <laughs> it's fun to just do it. And we're going to come back into table position. From table back to downward facing dog. Pedaling out, shimmying in the hips. On the inhale, left heel to the sky. And then draw the left knee toward the right wrist. I'm sorry, left wrist. <laughs> left knee to left wrist. Oh, I just love laughing at myself. Okay. Come on down. Using anything underneath the hips to support you so they feel even and level. 
Maybe you stay here. Maybe you're working on your mermaid pose on this side. Getting as deep into the bind as your thighs and hamstrings will allow you to. Maybe you have a strap and you're going really deep. Just make sure it feels good. It should always feel good. And if you would rather do a full release into a resting half pigeon, make your way there. Staying with your breath. Three more breaths. Enjoying and exploring wherever you are. Bring your hands back to the earth. Slide the right knee forward a little bit. Send the left leg back a little bit and work into that hip, shaking it any way it needs to. And then bring the body level on those three points. Left leg still extended, right arm, reach it up, up, up to the sky. And then thread coming down onto the right shoulder, soft, gentle landing there. Feeling the twist, maybe inviting a bind, get goofy, get giggly, have some fun. Smile because all of this is possible. <laughs> My mat has turned officially into a slip and slide. <laughs> no better way to ignite your childlike joyfulness by uh, bringing out a slip and slide. All right, release the bind, come back up to table position, and then drop the hips off to the side, swing those legs around. You can shake and wiggle any way you need to here. And then come on down to your back, and as you come onto your back, bring those legs up to the sky. You can also come back to a happy laughing baby. Stretching any way the body needs to right now. Taking any version of an inversion, any final shapes, anything playful, anything delicious in the body. And we're gonna do just a little, quick little mindfulness exercise as we make our way to Shavasana. So lay down on your back. I'm gonna sit up, but you all lay on down, take up some space. This is just a very brief version of a more extended mindfulness activity that I guided. Um, I guide with my private clients. I did a YouTube video of it on Friday, so you all can catch it in more extended version if you want. It's a thought control exercise, and it just gives you the empowerment to control your thinking, control your thoughts, igniting all the different modalities of the mind. And so just as you settle in, I want you just to first notice with your eyes open, or with your eyes closed, if you want to do an internal gaze, what you see. What do you see with your physical gaze or in your mind's eye? What's around you right now? What is present in your physical world?
And then if the eyes are cl open, close them. And I want you to tune in to your auditory sense. And I want you to bring into your mind your favorite song. And maybe it's not exactly your favorite song, but it's the one that easily gets stuck in your head. Whatever song comes to mind or whatever song you want to conjure, bring it in. Start playing it as if you have a big chunky head of, or ch set of earphones on. Begin to turn the volume up. Hear it louder. Then slowly start to turn the volume down, eventually into a fade. So the sound is no longer present in your Freeing your mind up to tune into the physical sensations of the body. What are you sensing in or around your body? And then let your attention fully rest on your breath without doing anything, no manipulation, no expansion. Just let the breath be soft and natural. And with gentle attention on the breath, allow the body to melt into a state of rest for the next few moments. Start to invite a little giggle. Maybe just starting with a little he 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 ho 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 he 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 ho 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 he he ho ho ho. Just let it turn into a laugh. Ignite the belly energy. Start to roll around a little bit as you welcome that laugh. <laughs> rolling around, feeling yourself connecting with the joy, with the silliness of life. <laughs> and slowly start to make your way up to a seat. <laughs> bring your hand to your heart. Bring your hand to your belly. Feel the way the body moves and responds to that breath, to that to that laughter. <laughs> you can feel it. It is so real within you. <laughs> oh, give yourself a chance to just be present for what truly is your nature. It is there. 
yourself a few moments of laughter therapy each morning or in the middle of the day or each night or all of the above. You don't have to go to a comedy show. You don't have to hear a joke. You can bring laughter and joy to even the most mundane situations in your life. If we can see things with a little bit more levity, a little bit more ease, then we don't have to succumb to the weight of seriousness and the heaviness of this world we're in right now. We can approach it with a loving heart. We can also create a little bit of space. Ah, bring both hands to your heart. I'm sorry, bring both hands to in front of your heart, Anjali Mudra. Take a big breath in. Let something really heavy go. Paint a big smile on your face. May you continue to connect with all of the blessings and the joy in your life. May you continue to smile and laugh, remembering that smile and laughter are the closest connections that you can have with another person. It is the shortest space between two people. I thank you guys so much for practicing, for being silly, and I hope that you have a very, very joyful day. Playful and creative, all of that. Namaste. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you to the Energy Club once again. My name is Erin. If you're interested in a Namaste Six Feet Away tank top, I have them on the Eat Yoga Drink shop. You're welcome to pick one up. I also have some Namaste and Cheers tanks um, in every size. So I'd love for, uh, for you all to do a little shopping today. So and if you're local, I'll deliver it to you. So thank you so much for, for being here. I hope you all had some fun. And I uh, just hope you have a really nice light day today. You deserve it. Thank you. See you guys again on Wednesday.